Today we're looking at free software for making music. We're doing Magic's Music Maker guitar recording. Welcome to Simple Green Tech, where we do tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you unleash your creativity. I'm Radio Zane, and in this video, we're going to quickly look at Magic's Music Maker guitar recording. Now, this is free software for making music on your PC. There are premium versions that will cost you a bit of money, and I've included a link to Magic's website in the description below, so you can check out and compare the different versions. But in this video, I'm just using the Magic's Music Maker free edition. Magic's Music Maker comes with some free instruments and loops to get you started. And it even has some VST instruments included with it. Plus, it comes with a cool guitar amp simulator, which is what we're going to be using today. I've created a backing track using some drum loops from here. And the Revolta instrument for the bass guitar. And now we're going to attempt to record guitar over top of them. I should note here that I'm using an audio interface to plug my guitar into the computer. The one that I'm using is the Behringer UMC22. It's a fairly affordable interface and it's going to give you some great sound. I've linked to it in the description below along with some other interfaces that you might want to consider. You can check those out if you need to. Now, what we first want to do is to make sure that our software is set to use the audio interface for recording. And to do that, we can go down here to this little gear icon, click on it, and up here you'll see audio line in and mine set to Behringer USB audio, which is what I want. If yours is set to something else, change it to whatever your audio interface is. Now, once that's set up, we can go back to our project and add the guitar amp sim. To do that, we click on the effects button on the track that we want to record guitar into. And we click on audio effects rack track. Here you can see that there's some fairly popular track plugins already in there. None of them are enabled. If they were, you'd have a little blue light on here. But what we're going to do is go down to this plus symbol here. Click on that. Click Magix plugins. Then click on Vandal SE. And you'll see that our guitar amp sim has opened up here. And if you want to choose one of the presets that's included, you click here where it says default, and your preset list is going to come up here. And I think for this, I'm going to choose Hard Rock Stereo. And once you have an idea of what preset you want, you can close this down. Don't worry, you can go back and change it. And we're going to click on the Arm for Recording button right here. And now it says audio record and it's highlighted in red, which means it's ready to record once we press the record button below. So I'm ready to start recording now and I can either choose to have the metronome on if I want to hear that click track or I can keep it off. I like to keep it off. I'm just going to follow along with the drum beat and to start recording, I'm just going to hit record. Once you're done recording, you can either press the space bar on your computer keyboard or press the record button below. And then if you want to play back what you just recorded to make sure it sounds okay, you can just click off the arm for record button so it's no longer red. You may have to press it two times to make sure it's off and you'll know it's off because it's no longer red. And then you can either press space bar on your computer keyboard or go down to the bottom here and press the play button. And if you want to adjust your levels, you can press the M button on your computer keyboard. And that's going to bring up the mixer view. And you can see we have our bass is here, our drum tracks here, and this is our guitar track here. Now, what if we don't like that guitar preset that we used? You can change that. Go back into the amp sim, and you can change the preset that was used. So let's try something else, this metal motor core. Let's hear what that sounds like. Play around with the sounds and have a little fun with the program. I just did this backing track up quickly. I'm sure if you spent some real time and creativity in this program, you can come up with some great sounds. Magic's Music Maker was actually the first program that I used 
to record a song on the computer. Now I have a question for you. Is Magic's Music Maker your first audio recording software? Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos where I look at guitar and other audio recording tips and tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk soon.